Welcome to another video. I hope you're doing all great. In today's video, I will show you the hex stats after the recent pump of around 25% and some pulse chain testnet updates. And if you're new here, please check out this video up in here about how to buy and stake hex. On my channel, you will find as always useful information and videos about hex, pulse chain and pulse X. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, smash that like button, let's get this video up to 500 likes. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below. And now let's get started with today's episode. If we jump right into, you can see the Hex wallet on the current day 866. We came quite far. I have totally staked 4000 Hex at the moment, already yielded 38 Hex in total, which is amazing. We can also see the T-share daily close price in USD. If we zoom in a little bit, we closed yesterday yesterday around $2,884. If we scroll further down, we had a pretty nice payout yesterday, 6.15 hex in total. That's probably one of the higher that we had in the last couple days. We had a similar one here with 6.13. Overall, it's really nice to see that we are holding this 6 hex per t-share payout. You can also see on my active stakes, if I'm going to sort them here over time, we have the longest running stake up in here for 15 years. He already yielded 14 hex in total. Same goes for the 10 year stake, but this stake will just go on for another five years once this one is over. Then we have here the five year stakes, which basically is just earning a third of my 10 year or 15 year stake. And then we have here a two year stake, which comes out in April 2024, which already yielded 3.6 hex. Overall, the value of my staking portfolio is now around $550. But never forget, if you get some nice yield over the time you're staking and you have a price appreciation, then the total amount which comes out after the stake has ended is even more. So this is basically the magic of Hex. You are getting paid during the whole time, during bear markets, during bull markets, and you get paid in Hex, and Hex appreciates in US dollar over time. So overall, you are winning and you have some stakes running, and you don't have to care about trading at all. If we move on to AppHex.win real quick, we can see now one Hex is at 13.5 cents. We we have one t-share for $2,878 for the moment and I would like to point out quickly we had quite a change in the Uniswap pools. We have now more liquidity, 148 million hex tokens and also the distribution changed quite well. We have now 100 million hex tokens in the Uniswap version 3 USDC pool and only 25%, around 37 million hex tokens in the Uniswap version 3 ETH pool and there's just a little bit of chunk in the version 2 of the Uniswap pool and and even a little, little bit, USDC 1 million in the version 2 as well. But you can see we have changes going on in here. The current APY today, 40%. We should see some nice penalties in the last 24 hours. We're going to have a look at that in a second. So either this is just preparation for the upcoming Pulse Chain, but I assume it will take a little bit more time until Pulse Chain will come out. We will see this in the second part of this video as well. And let's just stay a little bit on this topic of the liquidity on lookintox.com. You have a new liquidity chart. You have the distribution, the Uniswap version 2 and 3 and the bit and ask site. It's pretty interesting to see the distribution down here. We have now 69.68% hex USDC liquidity. The rest of the liquidity 24% sits in hex ETH pairs and around 6% of the liquidity sits in the hex Hedron pair. We can also see the distribution of the version 2 and version 3 Uniswap pool, around 2.5 million in the version 2, around 53 million US dollars in the version 3 pool. If you scroll further down, you have some more information about the liquidity. You have the current price, the Ethereum price, the Hedron price. You see the total liquidity in dollars, the total liquidity in hex, and you have more detailed information about Uniswap version 2 and version 3 again. Let's move on quickly to the hex chart in the US dollar term we can see we are going sideways since quite a while. You can see we are almost trapped in this range, we're just going sideways around 10 cents, sometimes a little bit higher, sometimes a little bit lower. But overall, I still assume we will see this trend going on for quite a while until Pulse Chain will launch. Of course, is there a strong buy coming in? Maybe we're going to see some action to the upside. But we still have a lot of weak hands in the system. And if we have a closer look about the trades, you can see that the weak hands are just 
just getting rid of their hex and the strong hands are buying the hex. But for now, as I said, I assume we are going sideways for the next couple of weeks, probably more than four weeks until Pulse Chain is out. But that's about it for the charts for today. And if we hop over to Hex.Vision, your website with all the stats pulled directly from the blockchain, we can observe in the last 180 days, we have a slightly downtrend of the active stakes going on in here. After the recent pump when Hedron launched, we had a lot of stakes flowing into the system and this resulted in quite a lot of stakes per day. And now we're back around two or 300 stakes per day, but in general, it's going down a little bit. I do not understand why people should not be attracted too much about all the shiny things left and right, Better buy your hex, stake it with go.hex.com for as long as possible and as long as you feel comfortable with, and then you will get the high reward. But on the other side, it's also benefiting the active stakers because a low staking volume means a high payout, more stakers means less payout, but normally price appreciation is higher. On the other hand side, we can see the liquidity of hex is just going up. So at the moment, you are at around 578 billion hex tokens, which are circulating compared to before with 573, so roughly 5 billion hex tokens more. If you hop over to the gas fee situation, it looks beautiful green. It is below and around 20 ways for a transaction. That means ending your stakes or staking or swapping on Uniswap is really, really cheap. Of course, Pulse Chain will be even cheaper, but overall, it's good to see even on Ethereum that we can do some stuff a little bit cheaper than usual. So take advantage if you have some stakes to end please do it now you will pay way way less and just scroll down a little bit on this side it's still saturday and sunday which are normally the cheapest day but if we have some days around 20 ways just take advantage and do some action on the blockchain and the last part will be the penalties for the last 30 days let me just update 21.2 million hex tokens were paid in penalties and thank you very much 0xd3 for 1.8 million hex tokens in penalties the same goes for 0x9 for 1.5, same for 0xp 1.4 million hex tokens and 0xff for 1.4 million hex tokens paid in penalty. That's just a wonderful service and a yield on top for us. So now let's come to the second part of this video, some updates about the Pulse Chain Testnet version 2b. If you go on the website stake.v2b.testnet.pulsechain.com, you can see quite a lot of updates. You have now all the needed information right here. On the first line, you have the Pulse X exchange on the second one Pulse chain with the validators where you can stake your Pulse. You have the Pulse bridge if you want to bridge over from the Ethereum world to the Pulse chain world. And on top of that, you have the sacrifice checker. I just made a video about it recently where you can check your balances. We will check this as well today. On the validator sub page, we have now 338 validators registered. That's quite a high number. Of course, only the 33 validators in the set will earn fees. And as you can see, as a community effort, we made it to the spot number one, hotlock.com. We have now a total of 66.6 .6 billion TPLS delegated to our testnet validator, which is just insane. And we have, of course, a lot of other people here which have no felonies, no slashes, everything is green, everything works really, really great. And if you hop over quickly to the block explorer, we can see we are back at three seconds. So all the bad validators were watching out the rotation works the slashing works richard was talking about some updates on the software so i'm pretty sure we will see soon some new versions to deploy but overall the testnet is running smoothly and you can just do whatever you want in around three seconds and almost for free if you hop over to the sacrifice checker in here you can see as well some updates are going on the first updates down in here we have just a couple days ago the latest upgraded set so this is always nice to see that we have more iteration going on and that we are approaching a stable set of the sacrifice set as well you can see maybe in this sentence here some information about the upcoming version 3 of the testnet the balances you will see in testnet version 3 might not match with
with what you see below yet because there will be more iterations of the sacrifice data set before testnet v3 is released but this is for sure we're gonna see a testnet version 3 first and then after that we're gonna see the mainnet when everything works as intended since my latest video you know already everything about the trading going on on the pulse x exchange also about the liquidity farming same goes for the farms and the pools and if you click the three dots you have two new updates in here you have first the burn function where you can publicly call the burn function you can see totally we have already 18.2 billion pls burned this is amazing so all you have to do is just click the button metamask pops up and you can already confirm the transaction it should take roughly around three to four seconds on the test net and then the active pls is burned which is available and this is just wonderful this will just pump the price even harder so many good things going on on the pls exchange you can see roughly four seconds and it was in but that's not everything you have also new the voting site so the voting basically is for the people who hold the PLS6 tokens you will be able to vote for stuff if you like so for example we have here the core proposals you can see there's no active proposal going on but if you go on closed you can see the test proposals from the core devs for example you have here a proposal about the pulse x pools which describing how you should add some information if you would like to open a pool on the pulse x exchange and you can then also go back you have as I said the core ones you have on this tab the community ones so here everybody can create a proposal and once your proposal have enough votes basically the devs should make this happen and if you scroll further down a little bit you find a really important proposal make rg3 taller if you click on it you can see i propose we donate one pls to make rg3 taller foundation this will allow for much needed pair of elevator shoes and voting basically is really really easy cast your vote arc or nah so let me just say yes cast the vote and we need some voting power i have eight <laughs> what the f i'm gonna confirm the vote metamask pops up gonna sign the statement real quick vote is cast and i can see now we have the current result of this vote let me zoom out a little bit we have 99.59 percent which says yes make rg3 taller and 0.41 percent which says nah we don't want this and this proposal will end on the 20th of April and then you can vote for new stuff so the voting platform is ready the training platform is ready the farming platforms is ready everything looks so good so all what it's need to be done correctly is the sacrifice set as Richard always said until the sacrifice set is not done mainnet will not launch and with that we are already by the end of this video if you found any value please leave a like subscribe to my channel and drop a comment down below if you have any questions and as always Stay safe out there, stay long and fat and see you in the next one. Peace.